Welcome back to another episode of Lineage View. I'm Lineage View and today we're going to be trying some Wraith drinks. Welcome back dudes, hope you had a fantastic weekend. So, I recently ordered a package from Wraith, it was the shaker and seven different flavours. I'm really excited to see how these taste. So I've tried a few of these powdered energy drinks, most notably Sneak and Beyond. So, what we're going to do here is, I have seven flavours, I'm going to try one each day. Might even do two tonight because I'm going to try one now, I'm streaming later. So, let's go ahead and show what we have here. So we have seven different flavors here. The packaging already is really nice. So whilst I'm gonna hold my opinions and the summary until the end, I will say I love this shaker. It's a really well-made shaker and it's nice because it's small. So this is the only company I've found so far in the UK that makes these small shakers. So we'll see how they go. I've actually not tried one. I just prefer the look of them over the massive 700 mil ones. Also the difference as well, which I've not really seen before is it comes with a metal ball like you would get in a protein shaker as opposed to a grill sort of insert that goes into the top which is we shall see i've had uh, i've had trouble with these in protein shakers i assume this powder isn't as thick as protein so i probably won't have the same issues so we'll call it there for now i'll come back in a couple of days once i've tried all of these and then from there i'll give you my final verdict welcome back dudes so i've tried all of the drinks now and here's going to be my quick review on all of them that i tried so far so i tried voodoo grape watermelon twist bayside blast Nitro Orange, Pear Drop, RGB Berry, and Blueberry Lemonade. So the first one I tried was the Watermelon Twist. Um, watermelon is one of my favorite flavors, so I thought I'd go for that one first. Um, initially, I found it to be quite powdery, to be honest. I'm not sure whether that's because I had it in the smaller shaker or not, whether that was because it was didn't have enough water in there to make the powder not so noticeable. So I'm not gonna disregard the flavor just yet. I've got another order placed with a taller shaker as well, just to give it the benefit of the doubt. In the smaller shaker at least I can say that it is chalky-ish you know the flavor itself was quite nice um, I quite enjoyed it um, so yeah we'll, we'll see what what happens with a new shaker next I tried nitro orange so nitro orange absolutely blew me away so I tried it live on stream um, a friend of mine recommended this one particularly because it tastes like Capri Sun I tried it and here's my reaction uh, we are going to be trying Wraith nitro orange all right, let's pour this in. Actually, Tasha says that this tastes like Capri Sun or Capri Sun. Shut up, you know? Capri Sun. Nah, it's Capri Sun, bro. What the heck? Oh my God. It's Capri Sun. Or like an isotonic drink. Okay. So out of all the flavors, this is one of the ones I'm immediately drawn to and I'm likely to be buying a tub of this just because it's just so good. So next I tried Voodoo Grape. Uh, this, I had the same experience as I did with the Watermelon Twist. There was that initial chalky taste to it, specifically in this shaker. So um, that again is probably me either not shaking it up well enough or it just needs more water. The flavor itself was actually quite nice. The, the aftertaste at least was very nice to be fair. So next I tried Bayside Blast. Now, this didn't taste chalky whatsoever, but there was a flavor in there that I wasn't such a big fan of. So this was a very similar taste to Blue Raspberry, I found, um, with a few other flavors, one of which almost had like an aniseed taste to it. Not quite, but I can't really describe it very well. So I wouldn't really be buying this one because it's just not for me. So next I tried the Pear Drop flavor and I was absolutely blown away. Usually it's very hit or miss when it comes to these sorts of flavors. Most of the time they miss. In this case, they absolutely smashed it. No chalkiness whatsoever. It just tasted like pears. No bells or whistles. It was just a, pe a pear flavored drink, which I was really, I'm a big fan of. So next I tried the RGB berry flavor, which was, uh, it was nice. It was more like a summer fruit drink. I liked it. Uh, I wasn't sure what to expect with the name. It's a little bit cheesy, but I enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. I thought it was, it was, a, it was a decent drink. Would I buy it? Probably not, but I do have another sachet coming as well next week. 
And then lastly was the blueberry lemonade, which again is the closest thing to a blue raspberry that I've really tasted here. And that one was really good. I really enjoyed that. Again, no chalkiness there at all. So on average, I really liked most of the drinks that we had today. Um, I think because of the circumstances I mentioned before about the chalkiness, I've heard a lot of things where having it in a bigger drink definitely reduces that taste. So I'm not going to conclusively condemn those flavors today, but I think we will try them again next week. Um, but all in all, I'm very very, very impressed with Wraith Energy. So for some context, um, I have been a Sneak Energy drinker for a year. I've tried all of their flavors and to be honest, for the last 10 months, I've stuck to one flavor and one flavor only, and that is the blue raspberry flavor. Basically, all of their other flavors don't really appeal to me, to be honest. I think it's really difficult sometimes to justify buying a tub of a flavor that you're not completely into with Sneak because with it costing about 41, 42 pounds altogether, including delivery, to get that tub to you. For me, I really need to be into it to be able to kind of justify that. Again, from the context of someone who's moving from Sneak, I think Wraith is a fantastic alternative, and I would actually say better in this case. It's blown me away so far. It's absolutely blown me away. So just to highlight a few ways where Wraith seem much better in this case, their shipping is much cheaper, uh, which is fantastic. You can have several different types of delivery, but it's about $2.99 um, for standard shipping, which is great. It saves you a lot of money. So I'd say the flavors generally are much better. Um, I've enjoyed everything I've had over the last week. You know, there are some that I wouldn't pick up again, but it wasn't horrible. There was at no point that I have to stop drinking it because it was unpleasant sort of thing. So another thing as well that really stands out to me is the cost of the tubs are significantly cheaper to begin with. And then on top of that, there are discount codes. So you're always going to be able to get a discount on your order, which I absolutely love. I think for me, this is going to be the turning point going from Sneak to Wraith. I find it difficult sometimes because there's such notoriety behind a new flavor drop with Sneak that the tubs will sell out and no one knows what they taste like before they buy it, but you've just spent 40 something pounds on buying the tub and um, before the, you know, the sachets are released weeks, if not months later. So that's a big turnoff for me. I feel always behind the curve because I'm not part of the group that is spending 40 something pounds on a tub that they don't even know if they like yet. So that's the thing. This is an obvious choice for me so far. Um, as far as the sachets are concerned, they're very high quality. The drinks are a high quality taste. The drinks themselves taste very clean, which sounds silly to say, but there have been other companies that I've tried where it tastes off, it doesn't quite taste as clean as this does. You'd have to try it yourself to really understand what I mean, but that's absolutely a big thing. I guess another comparison that I could make is I don't like their graphics as much as I like other companies' graphics. I would say the logo with the Wraith on the front kind of looks a little bit 90s black metal band looking. I suppose it doesn't really matter too much. Um, it's just a sort of gripe where other companies, I like the look of their, their branding a lot more, you know? But overall, incredibly impressed with Wraith. Also, make sure to subscribe because we'll be doing another one of these videos on Tuesday next week. Uh, I'm going to be talking about more flavors and a taller shaker as well. So that will be interesting to compare them. But yes, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the content and I shall see you next time. Uh, enjoy some outro music.